Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So this video here is going to be about uh, PEMF, or pulse electromagnetic field therapy devices in a rodent coil. So it's actually V PEMF, Vortex uh, PEMF. So that's what it is. So this one is going to be about how to use the device. The settings on it, how to change it, different frequencies, stuff like that. Uh, the video is long overdue, so we're going to get into it and I guess discuss the ins and outs. Right. Got a setup down here. All right. Um, so this is what we offer, different variants of the same or similar thing. This is just a rodent coil, just a rodent coil. Some of them are more, well, like my pendant that you just seen. Not that you could see it up close, but it's a vortex coil, rodent coil. It's like a hybrid coil, I guess you could say. And um, yeah, <clears throat> so this one here, by the way, this particular one will be available on Etsy as well. So by the time you see this video, uh, this specific device will be uh, up on Etsy, all right? So let's get in this device, I'll just get a bit closer, and how to use it. So right now, you can see on the display screen it's got out. So that's what is, when it says out, it's uh, putting the fre frequencies through. So you can turn it off, so there's nothing. And when it says out, that means it's actually on. Now it does come with this magnetic uh, testing ball. All right. And this is just to see, so you can tell it's working. It's rotating clockwise right now. It does all sorts of different things. Now it's counterclockwise, it'll go clockwise, counterclockwise, it's rotating around. Depending on what frequencies will do what, all right. So it comes with this, this is included, a little tiny magnetic ball, all right. So that's one way to test, to know that it's actually working, all right. Otherwise, you can, you know, not that you'd want to buy one of these just for this, but you can test the field, you can test the field radius, the range, different frequencies do different things. In the description, when you go to purchase this, um, there's lots of information in there, but not really about how to actually use this, what to press, what to do, okay? So we know about the on off button. Now this device has memory, so whatever you do, um, so I'll just show you this, it's out now, so the frequency is playing, it's at 20 hertz up top, and 35% duty cycle. It's got memory, meaning if I unplug this, so it doesn't work, right? I'll plug it back in, I'll get into all how to power it as well. See, it's it's comes back to the exactly the same settings, all right? So this here, you can tell this is frequency up, frequency down, okay? So you can change the frequency. So 25 hertz right now. Um, oops. I've got it into the computer right now. It might not be. Let me just double check this. Make sure it's actually, yeah, there we go. All right, so now it's working. So you can change the frequencies, 25, whatever. All right, so that's how you change the actual frequencies. So you can go all the way up to, it goes pretty far. Um, let's just go to a known frequency. See, if you hold this, it just goes, right? It keeps going. If you wanna do one increment, you just push, all right? So that's how that works, but let's get it on an actual frequency that I'd recommend. One of them, what I'm trying to get is, tell you what, is 512. 512 is good for your heart chakra. On In the description, this is listed as well. I do love 432 as well. 512 for your heart chakra. Um, it's a whole ch chakra list um, <clears throat> in the description, okay? So if you want to work on a specific um Area, if you've got an energy block, you know you've got an energy block somewhere, it could be anywhere in your chakra, you can work on that and have this emanating. Now this is throwing at a field of radius, okay? A magnetic field of this frequency. All right. Um, yeah, and I can measure that and I can, I can know how big the field is and all the rest of it. Now, on the other side of this, so you've got, we played around with the frequencies up and down. So you can set that to whatever frequencies you want. It has a, it's not endless, it has a limit. So from one hertz to, it's in the description when you buy this as well, so check it out. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's, it's, it goes quite high. Like, um, it's like 150,000 hertz or something like that is the max. Something like that. Uh, don't quote me on that, but it's in the description listed, okay? 
Um, this is the duty cycle, okay? So I recommend leaving on 35%. So that's what that is, 35%. You can change it. It'll do different things, but probably maybe don't go above 50. All right, so it does different things. Now, that ball is not gonna really dance on these higher frequencies. This is not considered a high frequency, but it's not gonna dance. All right, so one hertz, for instance, this is really good for sleep. One, two, three hertz. All right. So you can play around with this. All right. So 50%, it's all going to do different things, but it means it's basically, I guess, on 50% of the time, but 35. The more duty cycle it's on, the more hotter, the more you're going to be pulling into the coil, I guess you could say. 35% seems to be a sweet spot, okay? So if you just leave that there, you can play around with this yourself. If, it, if it's getting too hot, then you know, you know, you can just stop it. It's not gonna fully melt and destroy anything or anything like that, it's ridiculous because we're using low powered, um, low power to power this, okay? <clears throat> so it's nothing crazy, all right? So this set button here is for a different thing. This device, yes, it does, um, it set it uh, does frequency pulsing frequencies, but it also does something else. Now, if you you don't need to do this, you don't want to do this. Okay, if you hold this down, the set button down for six seconds, it goes into something else. All right, so there's no need for you to do this. I'm just showing you. This is what it does. So this is something completely different than we that we do not need to worry about. They use this stuff to uh, drive or power motors and stuff like that. Um, I guess you can do many things with it. Something, things that I don't know about because I haven't played around with it because I don't need to. So, in order to change this back, what you need to focus on, as long as there's a percentage symbol or sign there, that's the one it's on. Okay. So, I mean that you need to power this device. So we go ahead, go ahead and put it back. All right. Now, it's, see how I told you it had memory. So it's still at 15 um, hertz on 35 percent duty cycle so that's all there is to it so frequency up frequency down this is your duty cycle you can change it all right i suggest leaving it on 35 but you can play around with the frequencies do your research and input whatever frequencies you want the higher the frequency the greater range this will throw out okay <clears throat> you can expect at least three foot from something like your 432 hertz for instance, and then anything above that is still throwing out that. It doesn't change, it's just, it doesn't really change much. Once you get a certain point or threshold, if you will, let's say the 432 hertz, you get in that three foot radius, all right? Um, so to sit in, um, in, like what I'm doing now, I'm in this field. This is throwing this field out in at least a three foot radius in a field, okay? You can sit it with it, you can stand it up there like that, so you get in the full direction straight at you. Um, you can just hold it on you or near you or sit it on a desk, sit it by your bedside table, go on to sleep with this here playing. <clears throat> um, the lower frequencies, again, this is all listed in the actual um, description when you buy this, okay? Now, this one will be available, like I was just saying. All right, so one, two, three, anything of the lower hertz, right, will um, give you at least a... Um, about at least a foot or 30 centimeters or so around sort of field all right so it's a little bit lower than three foot <clears throat> but you know to keep this more closer to you if you're preparing for bed say half hour an hour before bed you can have um say three hertz playing and that'll calm you down hold it have it next to you you can even put your glass of water on it those frequencies are going to get embedded and imprinted within your drinking water all right so then you can drink it and you receive the same benefits as well all right, the same goes with anything like 432. I love 432. You'll always hear me talking about that. Basically, nature's mother nature's harmonic tone. All right, so right now we are imprinting upon that water. Okay, how long do you need to leave that for? Well, probably the longer the better. Um, overnight, you can do that, and will definitely be structured in the morning. Now, just a passive. This one's not plugged in, but it is one for a plug-in. Just a passive device will help structure the water. All right, so you don't have to have a powered device if that's what you want to do. <clears throat> but this here is a full active orgone generator. It's also producing more orgone because it, the coil 
is exciting the organite matrix and it's producing more orgone life force energy call it what you will you can call us a scalar field if you like <clears throat> all right that's ultimately what's going on so you can do that do frequency imprinting now let's talk about how to power it all right so you can power it multiple different ways now i've got this powered by um, just a laptop computer right now okay so this is a USB, so anything that has a USB, right? So I can take this out, and you can see there, we've got the, in the study here, we've got the USB there. I can plug it directly into that. If you've got these sockets uh, at home, you can plug it directly into that. Uh, power banks. All right, so um, I'm just gonna, I'll pause this just to plug this in. Okay, so I've just plugged it in, let's turn it on. All right. So it's the same thing, so power bank, this is another power bank, all right, you can plug it in wherever they are, in either side of that. So anything, literally anything with a USB, all right. Now, it also comes with this here. Um, so the USB plugs into this here, this is a USB little plug for that, that's where the USB plugs in, and it plugs into your wall outlet, your power point, okay. So this is for Australia. You can see those prongs there. This is for an Australia wall plug, all right? Now, if you're not in Australia, what you have to do, all you gotta do is purchase a little adapter for your country. So, the Australian plug will plug into this. I think just about every plug, um, every country's plug will plug into this. Um, and then you get your country's in plug, all right? So, if you're in the US, you'll have different plugs. So, Australian from here, We'll plug into that, and you have your country, say your US plugs, if you're in the U US, and then you can plug it in your wall, and it's exactly the same thing. These here are dirt cheap. You can get them for probably two bucks, or a dollar something, you know, pretty cheap, okay? So I got this, because I've gotten things from overseas, and in order to power it, like Ken Roller's Powered Pyramid, for instance, it plugs into here, and then I can utilize it and plug it into Australian plug and use it, all right? That is that. Um, so that's your job if you are not in Australia, okay? So you just get a little adapter, so Australia in to your plug out, and you're good to go, all right? Now, I'll show you an additional thing to power it as well. All right, now guys, I am in one of our cars, all right? So don't mind the mess, but I'm just showing you, you can also power it um, in your car, all right? So. Well, I've got, I've got, an, this is, I guess, an older car. It's got a cigarette lighter there. So you can get a cigarette lighter um, adapter and the USB plugs straight into that, okay? So to see this working, all right, to see this working, there you go, I'll chuck that on there. So 20 hertz, 35% juice cycle. And yeah, it's going well. All right, so this is what I mean. So this is what it is. If you've got an older car, which is quite fine, um, you can just plug this into the cigarette lighter, USB, bam, good to go. Um, yep, so if you're traveling, whatever, you can have this thing playing if you're traveling to help, you know, I recommend 432 hertz, it'll do like the whole car, all right? So everyone in is in the car is getting those beneficial frequencies. If you are going through cities and you travel to work and you're going through, you know, high traffic zones where there's all this EMF, Wi-Fi, 5G, all the signals, just everything bombarding you. Um, you know, slip it under your car seat if you want, and um, or wherever, on the dash, wherever it fits. You can stick it down and permanently leave it in your car if that's what you want, all right? Now, I'll show you um, additionally as well in a different car. All right, guys, so different car now. And I think you guys do get the idea, okay? So anywhere that has USB ports, okay? This is a newer car, and there's your USB ports right there. All right, so, yeah, you guys get the idea. Any car, USB, you can... Multiple, multiple uses, laptop, iPads, your wall sockets, just everything, or anything with USB, okay? All right, guys, so I think that's essentially it. It's a very simple unit to use. All right, so we've been through the frequencies, put in whatever frequency you want, do your research. Now, I do rant on about 432, love 432, but you can also say double it. All right, so instead of 432, you can do 864, um, and then that'll actually give it even a more increased radius, more increased range a little bit, okay? 
because that high frequency will give it that. All right. Um, so there's that as well. Um, yeah, and then you can look up also rife frequencies. For instance, I believe um, like there's lots of frequencies, high frequencies or whatever. Um, but I believe, for instance, 10 hertz, this is what this is on right now, um, is really good for a migraine. So you'd have this close to your head, um, sit down with it, whatever, go to sleep, um, next to your head, maybe in between uh, your pillows of you and your partner sort of thing. Um, probably you don't have to have it right up, like if this here was your head, don't have it like right up against your head, just have it near your head or on your body somewhere um, to receive the benefits of the 10 hertz, okay? So good for headaches, good for migraines, and you can just, like I say, and you can look up the list um, of rife frequencies. There's lots of other frequencies to use. I stay clear of solfeggios, but once you have this, you can literally do whatever you want with it to experiment, try it out for yourself, and um, just see. All right, so I've been through the frequency settings. No need to touch this set button. You can touch it, that's fine. It's not gonna do anything. It's when you hold it down for six seconds, it goes into another program that this device can do. Uh, but we don't need that. You just need to make sure that you're on the, um, sorry, it's not focusing on the, um, that symbol there, the, um, oh my God, what is it? Make sure the screen looks like that, okay? With the, the, the percentage symbol there, okay? So that's all you need to worry about. You've got the little ball here to test it, see it works anyway. Duty cycle, I recommend leaving it on 35%. You can go up to 50 if you want, but 35 is the sweet spot. On or off, that's clearly on or off. All right? But this has memory, so if it's always on, then it's always on. All right? And that's all there is to it. So, and I'll, sh I'll just show you this one. This one here is was the prototype, the very, very first of its kind. All right? Uh, I'm just plugging this in, so don't mind the camera view. All right? And now that one's in that one. So if you got multiple, you can do use multiple, whatever. All right? So, oh, it's on 512. So to, to see this um, dance a bit. Um, change frequency a bit. But yeah, you get to see that one working too. All right. So when we do make these, they are specific. The reason why I'm saying this is because this unit might not be for this one. They're specific when they're sold as this, they're specific. If you ever got multiple, I don't recommend you doing what I just did, okay? And plug it into another device, all right? Because they are specifically made for the individual piece. Like this unit is designed to go with this one. It's the way it's wired up to make the magnetic, um, the bio north come out of the center, okay? That's the way it's set up. So the bio north comes out of the center. That's the way I want it. That's the way I believe this is a more beneficial way to do it. So this one might be wired up differently is what I mean. And it might be the south from this unit. But when the unit I've got for this one is set up right, this one's set up right for that one. There was someone recently who purchased um, two units. And one of them... Oh, a unit had a sticker on the base and a sticker on the base so you know that went together and the other one did not so you know they went together I wrote them a note um, saying this as well and a message them as well so that they knew all right they're very very happy customers all right so I don't think there's much else to go over these here are a new listing uh, just phone shields you can stick them on your laptop if you want um, for instance you know stick them on top of your laptop like <laughs> take it off there, stick it on your laptop, whatever you want. Um, tablet, phone, um, wherever you see fit on your Wi-Fi, it doesn't matter. All right? They're going to be doing something. It's all about harmonizing those chaotic, stray, EMF, bad fields All right, from your Wi-Fi, your, your phones, your laptops, all that, all that Wi-Fi crap. All right, drink frequency and printed water. Uh, we use multiple ways. This is just an extension of this. I've already discussed how this thing works. But we drink very, very, um, I guess you can say structured water, very, very energized water. Um, the, I've done a video on, a, on an older video, but our water has a leak shungite in it, has uh, organized charge plate, it's got tensor rings. Um, we mix it, we stir it with an analytic. 
anal, hang on, analemma wand. I've got to be careful how I say that. It's not analemma, <laughs> analemma, analemma wand. Um, and we also, what else do we do? We do something else. Well, we also do this to the water, but we stir it with the analemma water and, oh, we add uh, soul water, a soul solution, okay? Uh, to really put those minerals in there. All right, so we get the cleanest water possible, filter it, add the minerals, treat it with power devices, with other energetic tools, okay? That's what this water is, okay? And I believe that is it, guys. So this video here, I hope it's informative on how to use this device. I also don't recommend you tamper with this and open up the box, all right? Because these wires are quite... Um, Everything's glued in place, all right? So we trial all of these so we know that they work before you buy them, <clears throat> before they're listing, well, they are all tested. So they're all in perfectly working order. We have to test it to make sure they work. I will not sell it if it doesn't work. But if you go ahead and tamper with this box and undo it and get the inner workings, you might damage these wires, how it's hooked up and what's inside internally. If that happens, then that is not on us at all if it doesn't work. We know it's working before we send it. So, you know, that's just a, a little bit of a, you know, uh, thing, you know. So if you tamper with it, that's on you, all right? If it doesn't work after you tamper with it, that's on you, definitely, all right? They're not designed to be opened with and played with the internals. They're working right now. Let it be. Let it do its thing. This is a device and uh, just let it be that, all right? No point in playing with it. All right, just say, thought I'd say that. That is it, guys. Um, I hope you like this video. Um, thank you very much for watching, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos.